Hello. If you've listened to any of my other reflections, you might already have heard me speaking about my garden. For years, we lived in a flat near the centre of town, so the chance now to go outdoors and plant things is still a bit of a novelty. Last autumn, having read all the gardening books which tell you to plant different batches of things so you have colour all year round, we put in loads of bulbs and I had a picture in my head of a particular border which would be a sea of snowdrops come the spring. Now the snow has cleared, I have to say things haven't quite turned out as I planned. The border is essentially bare. However, across the grass, various small clumps of snowdrops have popped up. If I hadn't noticed the super busy squirrels running about the place, I might have been wondering exactly what was going on. How many times have we had plans which haven't quite turned out as we anticipated? Who actually is in control of things? As we go through a global pandemic, that is a question a lot of people have been asking themselves, ordinary people as well as politicians. Today's reading is taken from the book of the Old Testament prophet Isaiah, who lived 800 years before Jesus. Let's listen to his words as written in chapter 6, verses 1 to 8. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him, each had six wings. With two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The pivots on the thresholds shook at the voices of those who called, and the house filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me! I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed and your sin is blotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. Whom shall I send? You might be familiar with these words from the popular hymn, I the Lord of Sea and Sky. I am a man of unclean lips. We have an amazing picture here of someone who comes into the presence of God, but who feels completely undeserving of even being there, let alone deserving of being able to do what God asks. But they still do it. God has a plan for us. There's something he wants each one of us to do, even if it's not what we'd planned for ourselves. Even if we don't really feel up to the challenge, God knows us better than we know ourselves. In the Church of Scotland, our elders are not volunteers as such. They haven't put themselves forward for the job. Potential elders are approached by the minister because someone else has seen something in them that makes them think they would be a good elder. There's a thing called imposter syndrome, which many people struggle with. It just means that we don't think we're good enough to do something, that we're not really worthy. I think the picture which Isaiah presents is a good illustration of what imposter syndrome is like. Face to face with God, we will never feel up to the task of doing his work. Isaiah shows us, though, that God has a job for us to do. He trusts us to do his work, even if we don't trust ourselves. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20 says, 
So we are ambassadors for Christ, since God is making his appeal through us. We entreat you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. My garden hasn't turned out exactly the way I planned. Often our lives don't turn out exactly as we would have planned and hoped either. But God knows us and wants us to know and trust him. He wants us to be his ambassadors. Our church theme this year is the God who listens. Through prayer, we can grow closer to God and really hear what he has to say about what he wants from us. As we move through Lent, let's use this time of quiet and preparation to really get to know what God is saying to us, to find the peace which comes when our plans and God's plans meet. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the privilege of being able to know you through Jesus and through prayer of being able to find out more about your plans for our lives. Help us to be open to listen for your voice, encouraging us through others, through ambassadors for Christ. Lord, we thank you for the peace and confidence we can know when we are joined with you. Let us join with the seraphs in praising you in the words, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Amen.